Okay. Dealing with all the chrome for not only uh, from the A to the C pillar, but dropping down and into where the carpet is and the chrome down there. All right, probably the first thing that you need to take out is the rain gutter. And that's trying to, you can, you can try and get back here or forward and pry it out, but apparently you want to be able to sort of push on it this way and wedge it forward because it sort of slides in like that. It's a real pain in the ass to get out. You have to take that out because that overlays an interior piece of chrome right here, which you can access after one, removing the flexible rubber gasket, which is missing on this car, which goes from uh, basically the B pillar forward to the A pillar and stops halfway. So there's two pieces of that uh, compressing rubber gasket. So when you close the door and the window, it compresses and keeps water out, all right? And then there's a second one from here that runs down like that. There's actually a second chrome strip, which I took out, which goes right in here, like so. It has to come out first because it overlays the rocker chrome trim, which I've taken out, but this piece has got to come out first. You can see the, 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 the rubber glue that's still on there. This comes out so you can get to the second piece there. So the first thing again is the rain gutter, and then the chrome piece I just took off. Ah. All right, you're right. And then, so when the flexible rubber gaskets are out, there's a hard rubber gasket, or hard rubber seal, that clips in to this groove right here. You can see I've started to pull it out. It just sort of clips in place right there. That's gotta be pulled out so you can access these screws after you've taken out the rain gutter. So, one, two, three. I say that because actually what I'm trying to do is take out this vinyl piece right here. Decor it's a nice touch. It's a, some of that craftsmanship that sort of put this car over the edge. As far as just extra touches is a, a nice vinyl piece overlaid by chrome right here. This chrome section is riveted, so to get to the rivets you've got to take out the carpet kick panel right here. And then you would uh, drill out the rivets on the chrome right there. Then you can carefully remove that vinyl piece, making sure you know where it's oriented and label it. And also take out this upper vinyl piece here, which is somewhat underneath the forward part of the forward headliner piece. All right, now the forward carpet piece here overlays, and this is an automatic, this is a C or a CA. There's a one section of forward carpet there and then another section right here, that's two pieces of carpet, which should all be covered by the broad front carpet, which is I've taken out, it's missing. Okay, so it's careful to make notes to see how it overlays. And again, you can see how this chrome has to come out in order to take out this forward piece. This is a, one of three sections of carpet on the, along the interior of the rocker. One there, two here, and this one overlays the forward piece the middle does. These, this is where the seat goes and that chrome piece, which is hard to get out because those screws right there are probably frozen. I'll have to drill them out with a left hand drill. Center section of carpet comes out on the rocker and then you've got your rear section of carpet here which is overlaid again by the, the chrome and the rear interior panel, which is pretty bad shape. And then again, you've got another decorative vinyl piece with again that, that chrome right there, which is riveted, drill those out. And both pieces actually have this sort of flex, that, that flexible pull out strip that holds everything in place that just pulls out again after you get out this chrome. So boom, boom, it's all kind of laid down together in a very precise manner. Uh, 
really take your time doing it make sure you pay attention because you want to put it back together the way they did it at the factory and when I first approached working on this car I thought it'd be like a BMW 2002 not at all it's not anything like a 2002 2002's for every one piece for a 2002 there's like five to ten pieces for a E120 uh, 2000 CS or C um, but it's it's interesting I think this carpet is wool and uh, they the 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 BMW factory work workmen the the craftsmen they really spent a lot of time to meticulously put together what they thought was a luxury application and uh, you want to make sure you replicate that when you put it all back together.